Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Zelda Breath of the Wild, and happy Tears of the Kingdom Day for all you Zelda fans. This episode, we're back in Rito Village, and we're going to go fight, or attempt to get ready to go fight Vamido. We talked to the Elder, we gotta go find Teba. Don't know where Teba is, so we're gonna go talk to Teba's girl, because... Girls always know where they are. Even when you don't think they know, they know. Oh. Forgive my intrusion, but I overheard you speaking with the Elder. It sounds like you intend to help my husband Teba in the fight against Mado. But to tell you the truth, there is not much I can do for you right now beyond telling you where my husband went. Where'd he go? Well. My husband headed to a place called the Flight Range. Oh? It's in Dronix Pass at the base of the Hebra Mountains. It's a place where Rito warriors actually prepare for aerial combat. Oh. I imagine he's gone there to gather weapons for another run in Mado. As it happens, he's made his way to the Flight Range on foot this time. If you take off from Revi Rivali's Landing, it's straight shot down to the Flight Range. Rivali's Landing is a memorial for the Rito champion Rivali, so named in the hope that none might forget the events of the horrible day. Impressive, I know. Very few can achieve a mastery of the sky. Yet I have made an art of creating an updraft that allows me to soar. It's considered to be quite the masterpiece of aerial techniques, even among the Rito. With proper utilization of my superior skills, I see no reason why we couldn't easily dispense with Ganon. Now then, my ability to explore the firmament is certainly of note. But let's not, pardon me for being so blunt, let's not forget the fact that I am the most skilled archer of all the Rito. Yet despite these truths, it seems that I've been tapped to merely assist you. All because you happen to have that little darkness sealing sword on your back. I mean, <laughs> it's just asinine. <laughs> Unless you think you can prove me wrong, maybe we should just settle this one on one. But where? Oh, I know. How about up there? I can see why this guy died. Oh, you must pardon me. I forgot you have no way of making it up to that divine beast on your own. Good luck sealing the darkness! Oh, screw that guy. <laughs> Descendant! Descendant, are you alright? <sighs> My apologies. I fear I've said far too much. If there is anything you do not understand, please do not hesitate to ask. Now, she said um, we were going to be going near the Hebra Mountains. And I do have the warm Dublé still. But I also want to pick up one more um, thing, a well thing of cold resistance, just just so I don't have to deal with damage. Just to hey. No, this this isn't it. I think it's down a little bit more, probably. Yeah, it's down there. Ah, vertical levels. Always a map's worst friend. Alright, we want the... I think we want the trousers, right? Yeah, we probably want the trousers. Yeah. Dang, 
it's your turn. I kind of... That's probably a waste, but I want to wear the uh, I want to wear the tunic. And I need that snow quill. All right, cool. We're stunting. All right. <laughs> I look like the guy that just pretty much told us off. All right, so we gotta go. We gotta go over there. Uh, let's go back up to that. Let's just be a straight shot from here. It looks like we're not. Hold on, we need to make a pit stop. pretty cold resistant so I think we should be fine with the weather I don't understand how little earmuffs is better than a whole like hat but you know I don't know anything about the cold I live in Florida oh a shrine Oh god, I'm tired. Oh, uh, that, that's right there. Okay, we should probably hit that shrine real quick. And then we will, um... We'll hit the, uh, the thing, the thing, the thing, the quest. Yes, Ricky, words. Poke. Ha ha ha! All right, let's see what Shaw Warvo has in store for us. Path of Hidden Winds. Okay, so it looks like we have a bunch of things we gotta paraglide up. I don't know what the game is thinking <laughs> putting that there, but okay. Ah, purple ruby. And give me my core. Or my spring. Whatever I need. Whoa, 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 I'm not done with that. Yeah, I am. Well, I'm gonna get there. Not high enough, huh? And now we have a predicament. Path of Hidden Winds. It's gotta be something I can hit, right? Alright, we're gonna. Uh, that's. That's it. Yeah, 
that's not it. So I have one more idea. Aha! Come on, okay, this is harder than finding it. And let's head over here. This better be something cool. Worth. have enough for two more upgrades which that would put me at my 15 hearts that I want for the I, I guess for the rest of the game unless I really need more I don't know what max I don't know if there's max hearts I'm sure there's max hearts but I don't know if like there's a limit like when you because I guess when you do all the shrines that's when you're done upgrading right well I guess the the uh, death blights I don't know. I don't know a lot about this game, to be honest with you. Alright, let's continue onward. Blight range. This looks like we're going to be doing a lot of paragliding. Actually, pretty busy here. You should probably go. Are all these guys stuck up? No, I'm not gonna go. I'm gonna bug you. Actually, I can help you. Hmm. Help me? That's what exactly? With vomit up. Let me get this straight. Some random Hylian wants me to help. Wants to help me bring down Divine Beast Bob Mado. I'm not buying it. What's your name, stranger? I'm Link. Hmm. Link, huh? Well, Link. I'm Teva, but you already knew that. I'm guessing the Elder asked you to come here and talk some sense into me. Am I right? Yeah, that's right. Just like the Elder to trust any fool wandering into the village. Look, you seem like an alright guy, but let's make one thing clear. I'm not going anywhere. As a Rito warrior, I can't rest until my people are safe. There's only one way I'm going back to Rito Village. And that <laughs> is, once Divine Beast Vama... I like this guy a lot, actually. <laughs> if I have to kill... Yes! He gets it! <gasps> Let's get started! Yeah! Hey, we're gonna be besties. Well, far be it from me to talk you off the ledge. But as, as the Elder said, the only way to stop Divine Beast Vamado is to get inside it. Fat chance of that happening. There's no way we can set foot in Mado. Actually. <laughs> so you're not only wingless, you're brainless too. Let me fill you in. The only people to enter the Divine Beast are the five champions of old. And unfortunately for the rest of Hyrule, they all died a hundred years ago. If it hadn't been for Ganon. Huh. Never mind. Let's focus on bringing down Mado one step at a time. If we approach Mado recklessly, its cannons will blast us out of the sky before we even get close. So I'm going to need to test you before I take you with me. We Rito warriors use the updrafts in the ravine to own our aerial archery skills. The updrafts are so strong here that a person could just open up a cloth over their head and float up easily. <laughs> now let's see what you're capable of. You have to maneuver through the air and destroy up five of the targets set up in the valley in three minutes. Okay, easy hmm. enough. And then go destroy five targets with your arrows. Can I get some arrows? These are not common. Oh, they, they are. I just... Yeah. 
Are these the targets? Oh wow, that's easy. This is... Perfect! <laughs> Perfect! <laughs> that was so easy! Mm. You're a skilled archer. It was as if time stopped with every arrow you let fly. Hmm. I gotta tell you, Link. When you first showed up, I thought someone was playing a prank on me. But after seeing you handle that bow, I can tell you're the real deal. You must have seen a battle or two. Yeah, yeah, you know, a couple. Hmm. I believe it. Link, I feel I've heard that name somewhere before. Well, if you really want to help me bring down Bado, it's now or never. I'll get you into position so you can give it cannons all you got. Hmm. Inside that treasure chest is a bow I modified. Take it and let me know when you're ready. Ooh, I like bows. What do you got, bud? Falcon bow, a highly refined Rito bow made bow. Rito Warrior's favor for superior rate of fire, which helps. Okay, cool. Uh, my inventory is not full. I don't know what that means. Let me get rid of this one. Okay, it's time to feast, face Divine Beast Vamado. Normal arrows. Oh, neat. Thank you, friend. Also, it'll be cold up there. I'm ready. Hmm. Let me ask you something. Why are you doing this? To rescue Zelda. Hmm. That's my girl. That's the name of the princess Rav Ravali served a hundred years ago in Hyrule Castle. I don't know what she has to do with Divine Beast Bob Mado, but whatever. As long as you're helping me bring down Mado, your motivation is fine by me. Alright, get on. <laughs> chip, chip, cheerio! Hop on! All aboard! Alright, it's showtime. Man, even I feel like I'm gonna freeze up here. I think I'm good. Hope I'm good. <laughs> if I'm not good, I'll put on the form to quit. That's the bow. Oh my god, what's it doing? Why is it activating? Oh, it's a bear. I thought to say, is it activating a cloaking device? <laughs> what a pain. What's wrong, Link? You scared to talk? I, dude, I don't talk. That's, that's my thing. Hmm. See those cannons? I'll draw their fire. While I'm doing that, use your bomb arrows to destroy the cannons. If you need a redraw for a bit, just spread your cloth and float straight up in the updraft for a while. I'll take that as a sign that we need to regroup. Don't bother aiming for anything covered by the bear, it's impenetrable. And whatever you do, don't get close enough to touch it. Finally, I know I should have said this a few times already, but don't forget your cold protection. Uh, let's go. It's on you. Watch out. Okay, so there's two arrows per. That's it. It's targeting us. Good luck there, Buster Roo. Watch out. I missed that. Be careful. See you, dude. 
Alright, on to the next one. I mean, is it three or is it four? So, like, what exactly is he doing? Because he's supposed to be drawing attention, but, like... So bad. Uh, miss this one. Not this one more over there. I gotta be good with this too. If I miss eight or like seven times, I'm trash. Let's see. Is that another air or thing pointing at me? And no, it's uh, one of the beams from one of the one of our other friends. Watch out. Too bad. Well done, Link. That thing is history. The thumbs up of friendship. Nothing can stop us now. Got the travel gate. Well, now I've seen that face before. Ah, our buddy. Feeling you would show up eventually, but making you wait a hundred years is a bit indulgent. Oh my God, how many you wait a hundred more years? Control of Meadow away from Ganon, correct? If so, then the first thing you'll want to do is find yourself a map. That guidance stone has the information for the layout of this divine beast. Can you make it there? All right, let's go get this map. Right, let's switch back to our regular arrows. This looks like a yeah, magnesis thing. Oh god. Riveting. Alright. 
at this map. Chica Slate authenticated the ceiling map of Divine Beast. Okay, we're tilting him. Okay. Fun, fun, fun. You'll need to look closely at your map of the Divine Beast. The terminals that will activate Meadow are marked by those glowing points. You'll need to activate all of the terminals to take back control. Think you're up to it. Looks like all of the, uh, the things are on the wings. Hmm. Well. Yeah, I think this is going to be a puzzle for next episode. This episode. We, <laughs> we took flight with our good friend Taba. We defeated the outside layer of Vomito. Next episode, we're going to take him out from the inside. Hope y'all enjoyed. And thank you for watching. See y'all next time.